It's not often the bad guy becomes the good guy. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester introduces us to a guy who spent his teen years scamming people but about also his story that has turned into now a major motion picture, Hank. Uh, really interesting to talk to this guy, too, because he is a reform scammer, but he spent many years traveling all over the world, ripping people off. Now he says his passion teaching people how to protect themselves from the bad guys. I was too young as an adolescent, didn't think about consequences or anything like that. You may not recognize this man, but how about the actor who portrayed him on the big screen? Frank Abagnale was one of the most infamous con men in the world. His story played out in the 2002 movie Catch Me If You Can, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Back between the ages of 16 and 21, uh, I was uh, wrote about two and a half million dollars worth of bad checks and personally a number of people. While most kids that age are in school, Abagnale was posing as a pilot, pretending to be a doctor, masquerading as an attorney. But after five years in prison, the government offering him a deal to work undercover with the FBI. And he's been investigating fraud for decades. I wouldn't be working for the government for 41 years if I didn't have remorse. Abagnale gives lectures all around the world on how to protect yourself from scammers. And that's exactly what he was doing here in Metro Detroit. I think people are just basically honest. So if your phone rings and the caller ID says it's Internal Revenue Service on your caller ID, you assume it is the Internal Revenue Service. People don't know any better. They get a little scared and they pay the money. So how are scammers different today? Well, they're high tech and they're using the web to track you down. There are no real con men anymore. They're just people sitting in China, India, Russia in their pajamas with a laptop and steal billions of dollars every year from people thousands of miles away. So that whole need of having to be the well-spoken, well-dressed, the victim never sees who's victimizing them. If you are a victim, he says the most important thing you can do, tell someone, don't be ashamed. I could be scammed. I could be ripped off. The smartest bankers in the world have been ripped off. So I tell people, if something happens like that, you need to report it at least to your loved ones or to the police. Don't be ashamed about it and do nothing about it because then they're just going to go on and do it to somebody else. And we have more information about the latest scams out there targeting people here in Metro Detroit. All the information you need on the consumer page of our website, click on Detroit.com. You used to be able to say, well, I don't buy anything door to door. I don't buy anything over the phone. It's really hard today to say, well, I'm not going to buy anything online. Right. So the, the entanglements are all over the place. It was very interesting because he was saying if he was a scammer today, he's not so hip with technology. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't be he a wouldn't, great scammer. Wouldn't Because everything is on the computer. Yeah. 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 So we're working on for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, uh, 6 a.m. I know many of you hitting the road, maybe a road trip this holiday weekend. So we are getting with the experts, showing you what you need to get to, rather, to get your car ready for for summer, things you can do yourself and things that you should let the pros do. That's tomorrow starting at 6.40 a.m. Okay, All right. Thanks, Hank.